Hey, welcome to Archer's Global HQ in Palo Alto, California. I'm Adam Goldstein, co-founder and co-CEO. And I'm Brett Adcock, co-founder and co-CEO. We are designing for the industry called urban air mobility, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The reason why we started this company is we're seeing unprecedented traffic inside of cities every single day in every large city around the world. Millions of people are stuck in traffic. Also, we're seeing peak carbon emissions globally as a result of the transportation sector. And so what we're trying to do here is imagine a world where we can travel really freely and very sustainably. So imagine being able to travel from Manhattan to JFK, a trip that usually takes you know an hour and a half in a car that we can do in under 10 minutes, or San Francisco to San Jose a trip that will take a few hours uh, traveling by car or train that we can do in under 20 minutes. You know, you take these vehicles and you commute to work in a really easy way. But I think it also goes beyond just commuting. I think there's an opportunity here to be able to break away from the screens, to be able to get back to nature, to be able to explore your local surroundings. It's a concept that we call micro exploration. The ability to really fly and go where you want to be untethered from the world. These vehicles can really set you free. I want to introduce you to Mark Moore an Archer advisor and a longtime NASA employee. I'm Mark Moore. For 32 years, I was at NASA uh, inventing distributed electric propulsion, which is the foundation for what all these eVTOL uh, companies are doing now. eVTOL stands for electric vertical takeoff and landing. What's really extraordinary about them as aircraft is because of this uh, new technology that they're using, distributed electric propulsion, they're able to achieve a level of noise that's far less than any other aircraft has ever achieved. But it's not just about noise. It's about core values uh, in transportation, such as safety. With these eVTOL aircraft, no critical parts. So what's different now from the prior years of buildup is that all the ingredients, all the puzzle pieces are coming together and really just creates uh, an opportunity for transportation freedom that people have never had before. This is a big, hard world problem that we're going to solve. We're not afraid of it. We're going to tackle it head on. Yeah, we're going to show you today Maker. It's our full-scale electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Let's go check it out and see some more. Before we walk over and show you Maker, uh, here in the wall behind us, uh, we actually have the complete history or some evolution of how we got here today. Yeah, so our blood, sweat, and tears really are on this wall, and it's really just a small part of the long journey that we've been on to design this aircraft. When we thought about it, we really wanted the customer experience to start when you first walk up to that vehicle. And you think, wow, this is actually this new form of transportation um, that is gonna change the way people live and work. So we put a, a high wing on the plane so um, consumers could have that sense of safety as they walk up to it and they're, you know, they can feel really comfortable approaching the aircraft. If you can imagine having the chance to redesign the entire airline industry, start from scratch, where would you start? That's the way we wanted to think about this from day one. We wanted to build something that really would elicit this emotional response. But there was a lot of really technical engineering decisions that have to be considered as well, because we are building an airplane, right? And the aerodynamics matter here. And so we had to build something that balanced both this consumer emotional response with you know, these really deep technical engineering decisions. We wanted the consumer not to just see this as a mathematical product, but something that they could actually really enjoy. All this hard work here um, ended up resulting in the aircraft we see over here. So why don't we go over to the lab and check out Maker? We are super excited to show you Maker. This is it, our full-scale electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And its purpose is to serve as a certification test bed and for the last year and a half, we've been working closely with the FAA on our piloted four-passenger aircraft. This is the end product that's the result of years of work that have come together across lots of different disciplines. Uh, years of work in aerodynamics, uh, working on the avionics, working on our structure, working on our flight controls. And this is the full product that you're going to see here behind us today. We've engineered Maker to travel 60 miles. I will be traveling at 150 miles an hour point to point in the air. Maker is also designed to fly at 2,000 feet above ground level uh, to be virtually silent overhead. This vehicle weighs around 3,300 pounds. So to put that in perspective, a Tesla Model X will weigh around 5,500 pounds. The Archer aircraft was built by a new type of engineer. We have to take folks that have come from experience with vertical lift, right? Traditionally in the rotorcraft space. And then we also have to marry that with engineers that have worked on fixed wing aircraft. And then finally, we have to marry that 
with folks that have worked on electric vehicles that are big. And so you have this new kind of engineer that's helped build this beautiful product that you see behind us. That's a culmination of many years of experience um, creating this new industry around urban air mobility. Let's walk over here a little bit. Uh, the Maker aircraft is powered by six independent battery packs that are behind a bulkhead behind the passenger seating. They power 12 electric motors that are spread out laterally across the wing. Uh, these motors are attached to a little over 40 foot wingspan. The wing is designed to be as energy efficient as possible uh, during cruise flight. And all of this was designed aerodynamically to achieve uh, some of the highest levels of lift over drag equivalents that we see in our industry. One of the goals was to figure out how we create an aircraft that's both efficient in the vertical form of flight and also in the cruise portion of the flight. And so we had to design the aircraft to have enough blades, to have enough disc area to allow the vehicle to take off efficiently, but also get those blades out of the way so they're not draggy in the cruise portion of the flight. So as you'll see, these motors in the front will tilt as we are reusing them in both the hover portion as well as in the cruise portion. And that's different than you'll see in the motors that are in the back there are fixed and are only used for the hover portion of the flight. One of the hardest engineering problems as it relates to vehicle design for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is to maximize the amount of energy on board so we can increase the performance of the aircraft. One thing we did is design a fully carbon fiber composite airframe, which basically helped us to reduce the empty weight mass fraction across the vehicle to achieve really high performance with batteries that exist today. We've designed the entire interior from scratch, so let's go take a look inside. Safety was the most critical feature that we designed for when thinking about the Archer vehicle. It was really designed so the consumer can have not only just a great experience, but also know that this vehicle is designed at the highest levels of safety standards across all of aviation. This vehicle has zero single points of failure. And I think that's really important here to understand that there's redundancy features built all across the aircraft. There's redundancy in our motors, there's redundancy in our battery system. Travelers will not only have just such a great consumer experience, but know they can get to and from their destination safely. At takeoff and landing, we've designed the aircraft to be 10 times quieter than a helicopter. And during cruise flight, 2,000 feet above cities, we designed the aircraft to be 100 times quieter than a helicopter, to be the lowest noise signature possible. This is a brand new paradigm um, in travel. The in-flight experience, we think, is going to be an incredible one. Um, you have a 270-degree wraparound view where you can really see you know, the, the environment that you're flying over. We spend a lot of time internally on our key enabling technologies. One of the most important areas there is our Meru battery pack that powers the Maker aircraft. We've designed our battery packs to be the highest performance and safest aerial batteries in the world. Let's bring in Tom Munez, our Chief Operating Officer, to talk more about our batteries. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Muniz. I'm the COO here at Archer. I've been working on these eVTOL aircraft for the last 10 years. So the Archer aircraft is really enabled by advancements that have happened over the last 15 or 20 years in batteries and motors. A good example of that is the battery for our Maker aircraft here, which uses the same lithium ion battery chemistry that you'll find you know, in, in automotive today. One of the differences though, is we've optimized the battery pack for higher power than is typical in cars. And the reason for that is because when the aircraft takes off vertically and lands vertically, we just need more power. But we're not waiting on any future advancements. We're just leveraging existing commercialized technologies and applying them to our unique uh, application uh, in the Archer vehicle. Super excited to be at Archer, where we're all focused on commercializing this technology and bringing an aircraft to market as soon as possible. We'd like to introduce you to Jeff Bauer, our chief engineer, who's going to walk us through our key enabling technologies. Here at Archer, we use computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, to model the airflow around the vehicle. This allows us to predict the, the forces and moments that act on the vehicle, like lift and drag, and estimate the performance, and, uh, and really design the best vehicle we can for an efficient hover and cruise. One of the biggest questions we get is where is the, the pilot seat in the Maker aircraft? The Maker is a, a demonstrator vehicle, so we are building it to fly autonomously uh, to really learn about the ideal future state that we want to get to with these vehicles. So one of our other goals here uh, at Archer is to really look ahead both to certification and production. So we're giving a lot of thought to the design of the vehicle such that it is easy to manufacture and produce. We've been designing our aircraft for certification since day one. 
I'd like to introduce you to Eric Wright, who leads our certification efforts, who's working with the FAA to bring our plane to market. Archer is building a transportation system of the future. People are really excited about it. And, you know, even uh, on the regulator side, there's a lot of excitement for the technology that we're bringing, the, uh, the new ways of thinking about how we have to operate vehicles and how we operate in the airspace. So there's a lot of really great things coming out of this type of project um, that has been in works for many years, but we are at the state now that technology is ready to, to put this vehicle into, uh, into the national airspace system. And so that's an exciting time for, uh, for history. And I think the FAA is ready for change as well. One of our important partners with us along this journey is Stellantis, which is the formation of Fiat, Chrysler, and Peugeot. We were working with Stellantis on high volume composite manufacturing and access to the supply chain. And it's gonna be really important here as we think about building a product for the masses in every city around the world. When we started Archer, we set out to tackle a really hard problem. Mark Gloria was the first one to see our potential. Earlier this year, we partnered with Atlas Crest and announced our business combination. This gave us a chance to partner with one of the world's greatest investors, Ken Mullis. This transaction will give Archer the capital it needs to certify and manufacture our vehicle and ultimately scale the urban air mobility market. I'm really excited about this partnership with Archer. The world's changing, cities are changing, people are changing, and Archer is gonna lead the way, I think. Archer is gonna be great for the world. It's a, a sustainable form of transportation and I think this is the future of how people will uh, get from one place to another. And when I saw the team, and these were the people that really created this, that became the most attractive part of the whole investment and partnership. I think Arch is the future. If you look at what's happened in the automobile industry over the last decade, um, this is the next frontier. First of all, this is really cool. This is the future, and it's happening, and it will happen. And even more so, they got the team to make it happen. Earlier this year, we partnered with United Airlines one of the world's largest and safest airline operators in the world. We have a shared vision. We're working with United not only as an investor in our business, but as a strategic partner. We're also helping on our go-to-market plans around certification, maintenance, pilot training, and ultimately our city launches. For Archer, it's really an incredible opportunity to be able to work with United, and it's the, you know, one of the best airline in the world. And it'd really be great to hear your thoughts on why you thought working with Archer would really be kind of the best partnership for you. For me personally, sustainability has been a passion uh, for several decades. Uh, and at United, we're committed to a 100% green commitment, which means uh, getting down to zero net carbon emissions. And that's where our partnership with Archer is so exciting. Um, it's clearly a win for sustainability, but it's also a win for our customers in the sense that this is an opportunity for them to have an option to you know, go from one of the crowded downtown core hubs that we fly and we fly in the big cities to get to the airport faster, safer, uh, and at the same kind of cost. And so from our perspective, you know, the travel journey isn't just once you get on the airplane, it's from the time you leave for the airport until you get to your ultimate destination and making that easier, making that faster, more convenient, more efficient for customers, uh, and just make the travel experience so much better for everyone. We showed you our design and you've seen the Maker aircraft now, but what really makes us a special team is the culture. We've been working on a really hard problem here at Archer. And uh, it's one that we're excited and inspired to be waking up every day and working towards. Uh, we have here one of the best teams in the world across 200 years of combined EV talk experience. Folks across commercial aerospace and folks that have been a part of big companies that have had big commercial success. We spent years developing our technology and it was really exciting to finally be able to show Maker to the world via our global live stream. Welcome to the Maker Unveiling event. The unveiling was a chance for us to bring together our key partners, our investors, and just the world to see Maker for the first time. When the curtain came down and it, your, heart, your heart skipped the beat. Everything that Archer is doing is what we've been waiting for. What we are doing here could have never been possible before. Just giving you the experience of exploring new destinations. Do you want to go take a ride? Let's do it. Let's do it. Everything. I can't believe this. You land, boom, done. You've avoided all the traffic. Who doesn't want that? Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on our flight soon.